If you go to OAGenius.com, there's a number of different suppliers here that they'll list if you actually check into the actual software, okay? So if you scroll down, you'll see that it kind of scrolls through here and you can literally sort through all the lists, right? So like Walmart, Overstock, Home Depot. So you can't source every, one of the drawbacks of this is that you can't source every single bulk deal site, right? So you can't go to like Slick Deals. I don't know what that was, but you can't go to like slickdeals.net or like gamestop.net or .com, which are two of my favorite sourcing uh, sites and use the OA extension. It's not gonna work, right? It doesn't integrate with that actual site. But there are, you can actually utilize it on all the sites that it does integrate to. So if you go back to these, look, eBay, for example, right? Great opportunity. Bed Bath & Beyond, another great opportunity. Walmart, Fleet & Farm. There's a number of sites here that you can source, and there's a number of products that you can source from. I'm specifically going to show you Walmart here today and how I would approach it with Walmart, but there is a number of product opportunities and number of sites to source from, okay? Now, uh, OA Genius is actually a sourcing software. There's a bunch of other features here, but if you don't actually sign up for the trial, right, and you just go to the, to the uh, Google Chrome store and search for OA Genius, you can download the extension for free and just simply use the extension. You don't have to actually pay for a payment plan. You don't have to actually go to the actual website and sign up for any of the inventory management or any of the product sourcing software. You can simply use the Chrome extension for free, okay? Now that we got that out of the way, let's hop over to Walmart. So what I would do with Walmart, let's say you're on like the homepage, right? So we'll go to walmart.com and you're like, okay, it integrates with Walmart, that's great. How do I source through Walmart with this software? Well, all you need to know is what OA Genius is gonna do is it's gonna pull all the product pages or all the, the products currently on that page and it's gonna try to sort, uh, search for them in real time on Amazon to spit you out the data for a corresponding listing that looks very, very similar on Amazon, okay? So then it's gonna save you a bunch of time because then you can literally look at the listing and see, okay, is this a profitable product? And if it's not, you don't even wanna waste your time looking into it further. And if it is, you wanna make sure that the product is the actual same exact corresponding product. I found similar products that are literally almost the same, but not exactly the same. So you do have to be careful here and there, but you'll see pretty easily if it's the same product picture. And then you can look a little bit more in depth. Is, is it the same exact product? Is it a bundle? Is it a variation? And all that sorts of stuff, right? So if I would use the OA Genius. I know that this is basic, uh, this tutorial specifically right here, but I wanna kinda get this out of the way so I can clarify for people. Obviously, you can't run the OA Genius extension on like a site where there's no product information because like while there's like main products here, there's no prices. So it's not going to work like that. So you need to go to an actual page that has product listings, their prices, and a lot more data, right? You want like like product identifiers like SKUs, um, you know, potential UPCs or something like that. So it can literally search Amazon for the title the pictures and the the uh, product identifiers like the SKUs or the, not the ASIN obviously, because that would be on Amazon, but like the UPC and stuff like that. So what I would do in this specific example is instead of actually going through and sourcing through all these little manual, uh, you know, cat categories myself and trying to find a good product identifier, and there are softwares that I'll cover in tutorials in the future, like Sourceway, for example, or Tactical Arbitrage. Not a huge Tactical Arbitrage guy, but I think like Source Mogul is a good one. There's a couple of different ones, but this one, if you don't want to pay for a software like that monthly, because a lot of people don't either want to pay for a software or don't want to learn a software like that, or don't have the time to learn a software like that, or don't want to actually, you know, spend the money every single month and have another expense, this is going to be a lifesaver for you. So what I would do is I'd go to like saving spotlight, which is the which is basically the equivalent of like a clearance section or the sales section, right? And you could go to like saving spotlight today uh, or pick up today to find product uh, product opportunities that you can go pick up in a local store, or you could even go to like uh, you know electronics or video games, right? One of the ones that I like to go is video games because I feel like they sell super quickly. So here we are on the video game tab right here, just on the main homepage. And so if we sort down. You can obviously just see like there's three different pages that I want to scan here. So literally just on this page right here, I'm just going to click the OA Genius uh, integration right here, the Google Chrome app, and I'm going to slow, uh, I'm going to drag it down so we can see a little bit more information. And what it's going to do is it's going to search for this product picture, this product uh, title, and, and obviously pull in the relevant information for a listing that looks exactly like that on Amazon and tell me what the price is so I can literally go down and look, okay, this is the source price, meaning this is what walmart.com is charging me to buy it. So this is what I'm spending. This is the buy box price for the corresponding listing that it thinks is that exact product on Amazon. So if it does look good, you want to check it after the fact, and it's going to tell me the best seller rank as well in the right column. 
It's also going to be like uh, the ASIN here, and you can click this, obviously, either one of these to actually go to that specific corresponding page. So there's no buy box information on this one, so I'm going to avoid it. Because this is, look, right here, here's a potential product opportunity right here, because you're buying this for 300 bucks, uh, actually, excuse me, it's not, it's the it's the reverse, because you're buying it for 300 bucks, and the buy box price is lower at 212, so not a good product opportunity. So let's scroll down a little bit more. So right here, this could be a product opportunity right here. You're paying 250 for this system, or this bundle, and it's selling on, uh, on Amazon for 400 bucks as the buy box price. So what we want to do is we want to actually go through and look to what this is. So... On Walmart.com right here, this is Xbox One, one t uh, tetrabyte, I don't even know what that means, to be honest, Forza Horizon LEGO Speed Champion Bundle. And it comes with a bonus headset and a month game pass. So we click this one to see what the Walmart listing was. Let's click the ASIN one to see what it is on Amazon. Is it the same actual thing? Uh, and it looks very similar, but we'd want to look into that. So that's one tetrabyte, Forza Horizon with LEGO, Forza Horizon with LEGO. Does it come with the extra headset as well? I'm not actually sure, but you could look into that. I wouldn't actually go out and source this product myself. I don't necessarily love the games and game systems like this. I know some people literally exclusively source them. I don't really like to take a risk into that. I'd rather risk like, you know, uh, wholesale with that because I know it's going to sell. I'd rather list, uh, risk like books with that because I have more experience and I know those books are eventually going to sell during textbook season. So I don't necessarily like to put a lot of my risk into a product like this because God forbid it gets damaged in shipment to FBA or God forbid it gets damaged in shipment to, um, you know, the customer, right? I'm out 250 bucks. And I'm never going to see that. So I just personally don't like to take the risk in high, high, you know, more ROI products. If you like that and you have more money to, th to throw into this business model, by all means, go after that. So let's find a good, a better opportunity here. This one, obviously you're sourcing less, but there's no profit margin to be made. This one is not. So you get the picture. I'm not going to waste a lot of your time, but this is just an opportunity here that's going to show you potential products that you can buy. So here's one right here. It's a little bit of a different one. $14.99. And uh, the buy box price is $24.99. So obviously, if this were the same product, which it doesn't look like it is, and the, all this is doing is it's saving you time, right? Because it's literally outlining right here. I could go through this faster and look at them all and be like, this isn't profitable. Okay, next page. Let's scan it. Sort through all the products and be like, okay, this isn't, this isn't, this isn't, this looks like a good product opportunity. Let me look a little bit more into that. And that way you're only looking into like three or four potential products, you know, in a span of a, of a bunch of listings, like hundreds of listings, instead of literally going to the corresponding listing each time and checking it because you're going to waste a ridiculous amount of time doing that. Okay. So if this were the same, obviously, which it might not be, obviously this looks like it's a different color here. So it's like a a wetlands camo one and there's no variation with camo so it's not the exact same but let's pretend that it was obviously this might be a good product opportunity so if it were then obviously i'd want to go through and check to see if it was profitable if i could sell it if it's selling well what the, the competition on that listing looks like might want to check into the Keepa chart to make sure that the, the price hasn't like tanked recently or spiked recently and that's an anomaly. There's a number of different things. I've talked about so many of those things in other tutorials, so I'm not going to cover them here today. But obviously, if this were the same thing, this might be a good opportunity if I could sell it and if the competition on the listing was good and it looks like it's selling well because it's Amazon's choice. So if we click the Jungle Scout Chrome extension, it's telling us it's selling 82 daily sales. So that's a shitload. If we checked, we're going to source it for $14.99. We have free shipping on uh, Walmart. We're going to come in and say that the product cost is $14.99. Maybe it costs us a buck to ship it into FBA. We're going to sell it for $24.99. So then the profit per unit actually isn't even really there because you're paying a lot in fees. So you're paying uh, $8.60 roughly in fees. So it's not still not a good product because you're only going to make $0.41. Cents, and I don't want to spend $15.99 with shipping to make $0.41. Cents. So that is an example of a bad product. And I'm not going to waste your time and sort through all these. But if I didn't find anything on this first page, I would simply go to the next page and sort through the next page, right? Or maybe I go back to a different category and sort through another page in a different category. And this is a software that is not perfect, right? It's not going to scan the entirety of the websites automatically like a software like, like Source Mogul or like, you know, know, tactical arbitrage might, for example, but it is a great free integration that you can utilize today from your computer to save time when you're sourcing manually for online arbitrage.